And there's tape. My nemesis, Briar and Tape. Hey everybody, I'm Sarah, Lonesome Glory, and today we are going to unbox my Briarfest 2020 loot. So virtual Briarfest 2020 was special. Definitely special. Let's uh, call it that and stick with it. So I've gotten some boxes in the mail. I do not know if I have everything that I ordered, but we're going to find out and we'll find out together. So let's start with the small box that I am pretty sure is mom's set of single day ticket models. Okay, so this is the very tiny box. I am pretty sure that it has the four single days in it, but we'll find out. So, get started. And look at cute little bags. Those are the single day ticket models. I'm gonna open up a giant box that I have sitting over here that arrived the same day as these guys. I am pretty sure that it contains my three day ticket models. So let's find out. Yep, that's what I've got. Balanos and plenty of them. I should have total eight special runs, two for each ticket. Um, I also ordered a couple of small things from the swag shop. And I ordered, between the two accounts, I ordered, I think, three other models. Let's get started opening these and hoping that they were not damaged by UPS playing football with my box. So, here we go. Okay, first thing I see in this box is an orange bag, which is good because I did order some of the surprise models. I actually see, woohoo, I see three of them. That's how many I ordered. I am going to save those for last because they're the only thing that's truly, truly a surprise to me in this box. Um, I know that a lot of people have already seen what these are. Um, I know the mold, I know the colors that are available, but I have no idea what I got. So I'm going to set these aside. They will be the very last thing that I open today. The rest of them I should be able to pick out pretty easily from how they look and from the label.
Okay. It is time for the surprise models. If you do not want to know what these things contain, stop now. Skip ahead because I'm going to talk about what's in them and I'm going to show you what I got. You have been warned. Three, two, one. Okay, if you're still watching, you want to know what surprise models I got. And you probably are already aware that the mold that they picked for this year's surprise model is Giselle. I think Giselle is really pretty. It is not one of my super duper favorites, but I've seen some of the colors they came out with and I am really excited to see which ones may or may not be in here. Right now, my packages are, are Schrodinger's model. As long as I don't open them, they're all glossy. So, you know, here's hoping. Let's start with the top one. There's no way to tell by feeling, so it really just comes down to opening. And the first thing to start with on any briar, regardless of where it came from, is the tape. I swear they have stock in scotch or something. I don't know. Okay, here we go. This is one of the pintos. I can tell. It's a pinto. So, get rid of the orange bag. And we'll start with the tape that's on the bubble wrap. And slowly, slowly, slowly open up. Is it glossy? Do you think? What do you think? Maybe. Maybe. Obviously, I'm rooting for glossy, not because they are the rare version, but just because if I could have all of the models the Briar produces in glossy, I would. So that's what I'm hoping for. And it's glossy! Ah! That's actually really exciting and makes me really happy. Um, because again, if I can get it in glossy, I intend to, which is partially why I'm super stoked about the um, glossy cheesecake and glossy Benelli, glossy Top Gun, because See, but look at that, it's so shiny. <laughs> okay, I'm also a huge nerd, so. Yay, look at that glossy goodness. Okay, so that is the Roan. Um, for those of you who don't know, there's a Roan Pinto, a Silver Bay, a Palomino, and an Appaloosa. If there are other colors, I am unaware of them. I like this Roan. This is very nice. I am a huge fan of the Silver Bay. I kind of crossed my fingers that there's one of those in here. I really like the Palomino. I want to see the Appaloosa in person. I am not as crazy about it. As much as I like Appaloosas, I'm, I'm not sure. So let's see what number two is. Maybe it'll be an Appaloosa and it'll be glossy and it'll just completely blow my mind. That would be awesome, right? Okay, so more tape. Yeah, more tape. I might be going a little insane from all of the tape, Briar. Come on, come on, guys. And this one, it is indeed an Appaloosa. I need to stop doing that kind of thing. Like, I just need to stop calling it as what they are. Okay, so it's an Appaloosa. So can I get some good vibes that it's shiny? Maybe. Maybe. We have to find the rest of the tape, though, or I'm never going to find it. What it is. Okay, there it is. There's tape. I found tape. All right. And then we'll unwrap it. Slowly, slowly unwrapping it. Hoping for hoping for shine. Hoping for shine. Kind of close my eyes because I don't want to know. It is. It is not shiny. It is not. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. It actually has some really nice shading that I couldn't see in the pictures that people had been posting of these. Which is good. I think that actually makes it way more interesting. Um, look up here under the armpit here. What I'm going to call the armpit. I understand that that's not what it actually is. Um, but it's been hot and I've been outside today. And I don't want to come up with real horse terms. So the area here. 
it's got a lot of shading up around the belly, but look at the chest. Look how much pink there is there. And there's actually quite a lot of pink around the face, which you may or may not be able to see if I don't focus the camera. That's actually pretty cool. Like I'm, I'm quite pleased with that. Um, if it had been as white as I thought it was in the pictures, I probably would have not been as excited, but I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty excited about the, um, the pinking that's on it, which makes me like this color a lot more than I thought I was going to. Also, if anybody who cares about modern chalkies, it is one. Like, you have to look kind of up around the face to really get a good view on it. It, it does look have the look of a modern chalky. I have never been one who cares too much. Um, if something is chalky from, from the seventies or from the eighties, I think that's really cool. The modern ones, I don't care, <laughs> but I do think that that's a neat thing to do on, um, on a rarity like this. So it's an extra step that Briar had to take. So that looks cool. Okay. Last one. I got nothing. I'm just being a goofball. Mainly because this really is the last one. And who knows what it contains. This is our last surprise until Briarfest 2021. Maybe Briarfest 2021 I'll actually be able to sit under the trees with a bunch of other people in the hot Kentucky sun and open surprise models together. That, that would be my hope. This is nice, but it's just not the same. Okay, what do I have here? This is a Pinto. Okay, so we've got some duplicate going on. But is it a full duplicate or is it a matte version? Let's find out. Once I cut through all of the bubble wrap. This one is, I can't tell. There's too much shiny. This one's matte. So this one's matte. Okay, so that's kind of cool. Get to see the difference between the two. So, get rid of the head covering. There we go. So, okay, so here's the matte Pinto. It was quite lovely. I mean, I'm sorry, nothing's going to hold the candle in my mind to the glossy. But that's really just because I am a fan of shiny. So here are the two together. You can kind of see the difference in color, maybe. There you go. You can definitely see more of the roaning on the mat. It's a little harder to see. Well, it's definitely hard to see with my hand in the way, and it? it's a little harder to see on the glossy. But there you go. All right, so those are my surprise models. There's a shiny pony, so I'm quite happy. I think the Appaloosa looks so much better in person than I thought it was going to, so I'm pretty excited about that. And I am pleased with my matte Pinto as well. I'm actually quite pleased with everything that's shown up. This is going to be nice. And Briarfest round two will, will begin when they send all of the, the swag and the stuff from the limited edition store. So I will catch up with you guys then. Hey everybody, I'm back. It's been about a week since I filmed the last part of this video. And I have another box. So I am hoping, since this one is addressed to my mom and I bought a lot of my Briarfest limited editions on her account, accidentally, <laughs> I am hoping that this is the last of my Briarfest loot. So let's open it and find out. All right, so let's start over here. And get this box open. Okay. So 
a pretty good sized box, which makes sense. There should be a few creatures in it. Got a packing slip right on top. And lots of brown paper. Nice change from all the bubble wrap. All right. So we have a box, first off, that is labeled Kelpie. A tiny little box. That's eerie. Look at him. Okay, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see him very well because of the angle, but there he is. Very green and shiny. Very pretty. I love the little box. So that's kind of fun. Right? And Mackenzie, the plush. That is the end of my box. So there, there are two Mackenzies here. I ordered one and then I got one for someone who is having trouble getting the checkout to work. So one of these is mine, one of them belongs to another collector who is going to be very glad to know that they made it to me and will be very happy that I'm going to ship him out very soon. So I guess the only thing I have left to open is Kelpie. Let's see what it looks like. The box is like all of the other crystal horse boxes. It's very nicely set, printed with the silver on top. And you open it up and there's the piece of foam. And there he is inside. So all kinds of shiny and I'm going to take him out of there. So let's see. Okay, he's got two ears and four legs. That's important, right? Be the crystal. Isn't she pretty? I really do like these crystal runs that they do. And Bouncer is just so cute anyway that I'm very excited about this little guy. So. Okay. That was kind of quick. I'll pull one of the McKenzie's out of the bag. So that uh, you can see. Let's see. They're numbered, I guess. Oh! Well, they're numbered right in a row. So I put a hole in this bag, so this one will be mine. And there he is. Little Fluffy McKenzie. This little scarf in his hat. And he's numbered on his foot. There he is. And I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be 17. It's a little hard to read. But there he is. Very cute. Very cuddly. All right. So that is the box. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been an interesting Briar Fest. Um, if you guys have liked these videos, please go ahead and subscribe. If you have ideas for more videos, I would appreciate them a ton. Uh, go ahead and comment below. Otherwise, I will see you next time. Stay home, stay safe, and wear a mask. Bye, guys.